Hello folks, welcome back. For I'm the one, the only, I am Hobo Tom. And it's that weekend again. Instead of wearing a wrestling t-shirt, I have on my flag kitty cat, which is very patriotic. So you know what? USA. 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 And as with everything else, a quick little tribute to those who serve our country for the most part for this 4th of July. So ready? Roll it! Yep, again, because while I'm doing this show, well, I did it Friday night. I had to get things set up. So I do have to watch my time. I have some stuff cooking. I have to be mindful of stuff. So yep, so I'm going back to the old format of doing stuff. This is my smack, my red wine and pizza smack on review show. Mainly because I think only one or two people would actually watch my um, live shows. I figured, you know what? This is a little bit better way. It kind of eases people in. And you get a taste of stuff versus trying to like cram two hours. Oh, also, you know what? Guess who showed up at the store recently? Look at that guy. Wait, who's that? Who cares about him? The Undertaker. Powers of darkness compel thee to find me a size 15 shoe. If not, you will rest in peace. Yeah, I can't do that. But again, look at that. Look at that. Me, the Undertaker. Who would ever think that the Undertaker would ever show up to any store that I ever worked in. I still have to go to other stores and brag about that picture. But enough about that. I'm on the clock, so I'm here to talk about some Smackdown Live. And while is Smackdown still the A show? Um, oh yeah, scheduling thing. I have changed my schedule a little bit. I think I'm going to go back to my old schedule of just reviewing WWE stuff because, again, my schedule's amazingly opened up finally. So off that horrible job. The job that shall not be mentioned. And not for that reason, but for other reasons. Um, I wish I had that job I couldn't mention. That'd be kind of cool. But no, no, no. I don't want to go there. Too many freaky things might happen. But yes. Um, so it's going to be a quick schedule change. A quick little, for probably more so of a format change as well. The most part for WWE shows, it's going to be for the most part a review. Makes it a little bit easier. It's easier to digest about 20 minutes, half an hour of a show. Versus trying to like, and I do appreciate it. You guys hang out with me for the whole two or three hours. That's way too much for you guys. Also, I might also have to go to reviewing WWE pay-per-views, mainly because they've uh, uh, the WWE has upped their game, and now they're getting me for sound copyrights because I've seen where I've been copyright violated, but it starts at the two-minute mark, all the way 
the two hour and 41 minute mark. It sounds like um, they're getting the sound. So that's not good. So I might have to change that up. I might do reviews. Impact's much more lenient. And Triple Mania. <laughs> Triple A doesn't care. So a little schedule on this. So let's talk about some SmackDown tonight. Wow, a really good show as it typically is. Uh, starts off with an Edge promo. Edge is back as we saw, I guess, last week. In our first match, we have Baron Corbin taking with Apollo Cruz and Sergeant Aziz. Until he gets those chevrons off his shoulders, he will always be Sergeant Aziz. <coughs> no, I had to clear my throat a little bit. There we go, some good beverage now. When I'm cooking, I'm doing stuff. I have to keep sense of time. No alcohol for a little bit. But, um, and they take on Shinsuke Nakamura, or King Shinsuke Nakamura, Emperor, dare I say Nakamura, and Big E. A really good match. Uh, Shinsuke Nakamura and Apollo Crews had a good start. Big E, such a good worker. Oh, he has had an abdominal stretch, and it is so entertaining. Big E's one of the most entertaining. Um, hopefully, they do reunite him with the New Day. Because that experiment kind of went by the wayside. Big E's not going to get... I don't see him in the title picture unless he goes for Apollo Crews' belt. Which is always a possibility. Big E versus Sheamus would also be entertaining. Big E's not going to get the big, the big, one of the bigger belts. Because... Who has the... Yeah, he's... Uh, he could do a program with Bobby Lashley. That would be entertaining. Not so much Roman Reigns, though. Um, and then again, uh, with Corbin. On the outside, Corbin takes out Big E. That's great. Good classic tag team wrestling. The heels are being heels. They know when to cheat. They know when to double team. The faces always try to make themselves look good. Again, uh, Corbin had just a classic flop power slam. It's good to see those old school moves come back. However, Big E finished uh, the, the, the big ending. Onto Baron Corbin. That was the end of that. Solid match. Good cheeseburger match. Then we get into some kind of stuff here. It's um, yeah, Bailey and Bianca. They're going. They're going to have an I Quit match. And Seth Rollins shows up. Says, "Yeah, I'm Seth Rollins." Might be getting that out out of here. Context, but yeah, that was okay. I missed something, but guess what? It wasn't that important, I guess. A um, couple big things. Um, then we get to probably one of the best matches in a while. I'm gonna upgrade this: Kevin Owens versus Sami Zayn. Amazing match. Uh, it's an it's a last man standing. So the only way to to win is literally to be the last person standing. Going classic Met wrestling, and then it's just hard hitting. It's a fight. This is a good old NWA style brawl where two people don't like each other. The last man standing is going to win. It was so good. Hard hitting classic match. Um, then they go outside. He gets tossed on the table. Uh, they use the table covering to, to uh, uh, hit the other guy in the head. I forget who did who because my notes are kind of incomplete because I was trying to make pizza at the time. Um, again, then into the post, bonk. The only thing this match kind of missed, and I know WWE is shying away from it, it just needed just a little color. If Sami Zayn got color, oh. or if Kevin Owens got some color, if he did the little, little blade job right there, that would be so amazing. But still, this was a really, this, this probably was a classic match. I don't think these two can have a bad match. With that being said, though, don't do this every week, even every month. They, they need some time to breathe so that they get a little bit more oomph when they do manage to come back. 
Uh, Kevin Amundsen starts building tables. You know, I'm going to keep it at what it was, mainly because of that. And they started to use, like, build tables, and it's like, yeah. Um, because the two tables, there was no superplex. KO instead gets draped across the ropes by Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn, uh, the, the diving, he hits a dive. And back in the ring. Oh, cross face. Cross face. Good stuff. Again, illegal and amateur wrestling. Perfectly legal, though. And professional wrestling. Uh, Kevin Owens grabs the nose of the beard. That was kind of cool. They get up. Then they do the classic yay booze. They kind of take turns hitting each other. There was a super, super flex on the top rope. And then Kevin Owens just goes to a super kick party. And Sami Zayn began to develop a pretty sizable bruise on his back. Because even I could see that. Uh, Kevin Owens goes to the top rope. Uh, he gets pushed off. Sent through the two tables. Again, Kevin Owens, you need to obey the law of tables. If you set up said table, you go through the table. Uh, Zane, again, uses a tabletop on the steps. That's great. Um, Sami Zayn, the half and half suplex on the ring apron was amazing. And then three haluva kicks. Almost, when it was two super kicks, it was almost like about three years ago when they had their great, their really first great amazing match this was three and Kevin Owens just he rolled out fell onto his feet and smart wrestler that's good to see uh, so he broke up that 10 count a KO then started to go on a, a rash of pop up power bombs a stunner a power bomb through the table um, the apron and then that kind of bears the resemblance to NXT after that, Sami Zayn couldn't get to the 10 count. Kevin Owens wins. I know people are going to criticize me for this. It wasn't a flaming on match. They did a little too much with the table stuff. There wasn't any color. This match kind of needed that. But other than that, quality surf and turf match. That being said, um, there's an Edge interview, a little thing with Eric Bugenhausen and Eric, uh, Eric Bugenhausen and Baron Corbin, all the bad King jokes, and Baron Corbin just says, screw you. That was great. Uh, Selena Deville then announces Zelina Vega. I thought she left, but Zelina Vega's back, and she's going to be in the... Woman's ladder match for the my money in, money in the brief money in the bank ladder match. So with that, so with the return of Zelina Vega, we now have Zelina Vega. Uh, Liv Morgan has to come out. She talks about stuff. And oh my goodness, I swear on one shot. Well, I'll get into that. So with this match, it was Zelina Vega versus Liv Morgan. Nah, it was an okay match. Lena Vega, you can't just... Oh, Liv Morgan. Wow! Zelina Vega right in the face. You don't deserve this. That's great. Uh, Vega has the kicks. The rope-assisted kicks. It's okay. Zelina Vega is short. And it kind of doesn't look like her, which... I don't know. But she did dye her hair. She has like red in the middle, and it's kind of like normal color outside. She changed her outfit up. She's showing a lot more tits now. Oops. I shouldn't be saying that she's a married woman. But yeah, instead of showing like hip, I didn't see her hip tattoo, but then again, that was covered up though. So that's why I didn't see any like noticeable marks on, like, marks like tattoos on her. So I'm like, is this really Selena Vega? Hmm. But yeah, um, then they tried to trade roll up Selena. Uh, Selena Vega rolled up Liv Morgan, grabbed a hold of her trunks, but we couldn't see much. Oh, and one pinfall. Liv Morgan just went full spread eagle, and I swear I saw some outer some outer labia camel toe going on. Liv Morgan's beautiful. How Enzo Amore could ever mistreat her, or Big Cass could mistreat her, or whoever mistreats her. Live. I'm single. 
But yeah, she's amazing. She's amazing looking. I'll say that. And this time, however, there was no pin that way. This time Liv rolled up. Selena Vega. She grabbed a whole handful of Selena Vega's trunks. And Larry held her up by it. I swear, you saw. You saw the, the beginning of that old whale tail there. So yeah, and that booty of hers. Oh. So Zelina Vega, she came back just to job out to Liv Morgan, even though Vince said, you know what? You're going to win the Money of the Bank ladder match, but you're going to do the job to Liv, because we're going to put Liv in there eventually. We got rid of her buddy. You have to make Liv happy to the gas. So yeah, um, for the most part, you know, not much of a match. Honestly, can a suit match. Uh, oh, this is when Seth shows up. Seth, he had an awful outfit on. Um, with, with Boo Sonya Deville. Boo! Boo Sonya Deville. Boo! Forever Boo Sonya Deville. Um, and Adam Pierce, and he's like, yeah, I want to match. I don't even care at this point. Well, there was some other thing that happened. I forget what the... It's okay. Oh yeah, there was a bunch of stuff between um, Paul Heyman and Jimmy Uso. Kind of throughout the show, that was the theme. And uh, then we had Otis. Well, shaving Otis. Whoa. I shaved everything once. I think for coronavirus. I did look different. I, I, I was shocked what happens when I actually take this off. And I look like I did when I was in high school. It's kind of weird. It was... I don't know. Maybe I'll do that again sometime. Maybe not. Maybe if someone sends me a check or a ten dollar bill, I might though. Always. Money, 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 money. Everyone has a price. Mine's ten bucks. But yeah. Um, so this match it was Otis taking on Angelo Dawkins. Angelo Dawkins he winds up take, taking out everyone before the mat before the match starts because Otis. And Chad Gable is there. Um, as Chad Gable gets out, he distracts Angelo Dawkins. And this is when Otis just goes completely monster heel. He just wrecks poor Angelo Daw Dawkins. Hammerlock suplex. Hard into the corner. Um, hits a big monster clothesline. A big second rope splash. Hits the Vader bomb. One, two, three. It was pin. Um, ham sandwich of a match. We didn't expect much after that. Um, so yeah. And then we have kind of the main event segment. Uh, Jimmy Uso and Paul. Paul's like, you know what needs to be done. Don't let anyone down. Jimmy Uso calls out Edge. Edge comes running in. Um, Jimmy Uso eventually gets kind of the initial edge on Edge. Then Edge makes his comeback. Hits the spear. Goes outside. Breaks off the leg of a... I think the leg. Or the cross par of a chair. After he put him in like the, the one cross face. And he puts that... Use that as a bit. Here. Ah. Uh, and... Hanks back on that. So Edge stands tall. Edge is not going to win that belt at Money in the Bank. That's very simple go home math. And honestly, solid, solid show. Cheeseburger show. That was SmackDown. Nice, quick, easy little show. Um, again, there are there is going to be the formatting change to the way things used to be, where it's more of a review show versus live streaming. Um, Impact because it's so different. I will live stream that. NXT will be a toss up. I don't know if I want to live stream that. They do zonk me every so often for sounds. Triple Mania. Eventually, one day I'm going to watch some other stuff. I have to get back to Ring of Honor, uh, Major League Wrestling stuff like that. So yeah, we'll we'll see what happens. Other than that, I like to thank, and this way I get an opportunity, um, more so, I should do that, 
So also, I should have said this. Um, I would, again, normally I have my opportunity to thank people. Let's see here. So let's see who I have to thank. And they will be a member of the six count. So let's see here. That was notifications. So Grace Alexander, thank you very much. You definitely always win twice with that six count. So with that, thank you being out there. I'd like to, again, thank everyone for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And probably sometime tomorrow. Well, this should be up definitely tonight. Sometime tomorrow for the 4th of July. Remember, keep all your digits intact, including this one. Very important stuff. Um, so, yeah, don't blow off fingers or hands or, or stand over things. That, that go boom. Bad idea leaning over things that go boom. Um, so yeah, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Look forward to the Daytona Beach presentation for 4th of July special coming out a little bit later.